just taking a quick look at this new Jackery Explorer 300 Plus. So this is the latest Jackery to get the, you know, the LFP treatment, the, the new LFP batteries. And I was kind of surprised to see this because I thought, you know, they would, if they were going to come out with another Plus model, I thought for sure they were going to uh, replace the old 500 model. But um, instead, they kind of went with the 300 unit, which is actually their best selling unit. <laughs> and it, in fact, the, the 300, the regular 300 is like the second or third best selling power station on Amazon. So they, they kind of decided to go, you know, where the money's at. But yeah, let's just kind of, you know, jump into the, the specs here real quick. And so we do get, you know, basically it's very similar in specs, but we do get a few changes here. And, and again, we'll kind of we'll, we'll actually do like a deep deep dive a, a, a real true comparison to the the regular 300 and this new 300 plus kind of towards the end so yeah 288 watt hours you know almost 300 and we do get those lfp batteries obviously that's that's the big news uh we do finally get a 100 watt usb-c in these kind of the smaller ones uh you know the other model only has a 60 watt and kind of the thing that really surprised me is we do get an app with this unit right so this is something that even like the the 1000 Pro and the, the Pro models. A lot of the Pro models don't even have uh, the app. So they are giving us that app as well. And then here they show, you know, only 11 pounds. <laughs> this is actually the, the solar generator bundle. That's with the solar panel. So um, yeah, we'll talk about the weight here, but well, basically let's just talk about it right now. <laughs> it's it's 8.3 pounds. So it's only like about one pound more than the, than the other model that has the NMC batteries, right? So so yeah, uh, pretty good. And the size, well, we'll talk about the size here in a little bit. Because they are calling this, uh, this new uh, 300 Plus, they are calling it a backpack size power station. So yes, you can still put it in your backpack, although it is a little bit bigger than the, than the other model. Um, and then we do get this new, what they're saying, book sized uh, so, uh, solar panel, folding solar panel. It's actually, you know, it's only 40 watts, but um, but yeah, you can definitely tuck that into your backpack as well, right? And of course, with that new LFP battery, you know, safety first. But um, you, you know, the thing is, they're combining this LFP battery with with all the. Jackery is kind of known for going a little overboard with with all the the safety stuff, which I guess you know isn't a bad thing, right? I mean, if you're going to have a little uh, power station with with a lithium battery inside, it's not a bad thing. So, um, so yeah, so that's probably a good thing. And then it does get this charge shield. This is kind of their newest um, charging algorithm. It, it just, it'll basically vary the, the actual inputs, especially from the wall, you know, kind of based on the temperature of the battery cells and stuff that just kind of prolong the life even further, you know? So the LFP battery plus the charge shield uh, algorithm is just, you know, this thing is gonna last you a, a long, 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 long time, right? Now for all the ports here, um, yeah, so let's just kind of get into it. Uh, we do get, you know, the, obviously the, the 12 volt and the AC port here. So we do get still 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. Although what's really nice is they actually upped it to the, the proper 120 volts, right? So the old 300 had that 110 volt inverter, which is fine, you know, it's fine, but still it should be 120 volts. So we do get that. And then, you know, the big news too, is we do get the 100 watt USB-C. Now there is two USB-Cs as you can see, but only one of them is 100 watt, but it is in and out too. So, right, so that's, that's an input. We'll, we'll kind of talk about that more here in a second. And the AC input is actually on the side there of the unit and it is just using a standard wall cord, right? So there's no power brick anymore with this thing. Um, you just plug it right there in, into the side of the unit. And because of that, we actually do get like a UPS uh, function feature. Now they're calling it EPS, like, you know, like uh, EcoFlow kind of started using. And the reason that they're kind of, they're doing that again, is just, it's, you know, these power stations, even the ones that claim they have a UPS, you know, uh, basically Jackery, you know, they're good about this kind of stuff. They explain this. They don't want to try to oversell you on something. You know, and they basically say right there, it's a non-professional UPS function. Yes, it'll probably work most of the time. And they're saying 20 milliseconds as well. So that's actually, you know, pretty decent spec. But, you know, again, they're saying this is not a professional UPS. It doesn't have, you know, zero millisecond switching. I think the only power station I've seen that actually claims zero millisecond switching is that uh, new Zendor Superbase V, um, which is, you know, like, I don't know, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. So, so, yeah, but this will, you know, probably work for you, right? If, you, if you're just using like a simple computer or something, this, uh, this feature will probably work. And we do get the app, you know, the Jackery app that works for this unit, which I, as again, I was saying, I was surprised to see. And it is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. 
Now, uh, so that's, you know, a lot of people have kind of been asking for that. Now, there are pros and cons with that. You know, there are pros and cons with this unit compared to the old 300. We're, we're going to get to that. And then for the charging, so they are claiming uh, wall charge in 1.35 hours now. So they don't actually give you the actual specs on this unit. So let's just say it's probably going to be charging around 300 watts, right? Because this is about almost about 300 watt hours. And, you know, it'll probably slow that charge down a little bit as it gets close to 100%. So, so yeah, I would have just expect around 300 watts going in, you know, from the wall on the side there. And then the solar, this is, a, we actually have a lot to talk about with this. So 7.5 hours with the 40 watt panel. That's, that's that new small uh, panel that they've been showing off. But you can actually do, um, you know, up to 100 watts. And they, they actually claim that it's kind of capped at 100 watts as well. But as far as the, the voltage input range, it's, they're saying 12 to 27 volts, and then they're saying uh, 5 amps. So this is actually down a little bit from the, uh, the, the old 300, which could actually do 7 amps. So that's just something you want to note. But it, actually, the, the thing that really gets crazy with this unit is that they're saying for the first time, it adopts USB-C input for the solar charger. So basically, they give you this little adapter that goes from the 7909, you know, the standard eight millimeter, and it actually is an adapter that converts that to USB-C. <laughs> so um, if you wanna do solar with this unit, you're basically plugging into the USB-C here. So this is, a, you know, this is kind of, um, this is kind of interesting, right? I, I'm kind of surprised to see them do this. I, I think it just, you know, Jackery is known for doing things, you know, simplicity, right? And just making things easy. So, um, yeah, if you want to do solar with this thing, you're going to end up using that, that USB-C in and out port, right? Which means you can't, you know, double it up, right? You can't do, you can't have solar and, you know, separate USB-C charging going into this unit. Now, the old model kind of had a, a little bit of a similar situation where they had the 7909 input, that 8 millimeter input, was actually used for the wall charger because it had a power brick, right? or solar so you know they were kind of doubling up on this port on the old model now on the new model they're doubling up on the, that USB-C input port right so just that's something you got to note and again as as they said you know it's something that's all new to Jackery and the car as well so the car input the car socket adapter is outputting uh, USB-C as well now since we just started talking about this you know let's uh, just keep going with it do the com quick comparison here so basically, let's just start with the size and weight. You know, this the old 300 does weigh about one pound less, and the size is almost identical. So the new model is actually the same exact height, right? With that folding handle, it's the same exact height. So it is, you know, the, the main unit itself is actually taller, bigger, right? But because it has the folding handle, it ends up being the same size. And then as far as the width goes, the new model is actually not quite as wide. It's like it's like an inch narrower <laughs> I don't even know if I drew that right it's probably more like this right it's more square the new model is more square but the thing is it is uh, you know wider it, it is thicker right which is kind of you know they're saying backpack size so that to me would actually make it a little bit more difficult to slot into a backpack I think that's kind of the, the magic of this unit here the old 300 is that because it is narrow so narrow that it really does slide into a backpack a lot easier now, obviously, the old model, we do get two AC ports, you know, but they are very close together. So depending on what kind of thing you're plugging into that, that might be useful. It might not be. And then, of course, we did get that USB-C input, but it was only 60 watts, right? Kind of the, the one thing that's really nice about this old model, because it has a simple screen, not a lot of whole power consumption going on with this unit because the brains of the unit is just very simple. This is kind of the, the thing you got to understand the pros and cons with this new model. Yes, we do get the, the new screen, and I love the new screens on these, these Jackeries. Not only that orange color, but all the, you know, all the information, all the detail that you're going to get with that. But the thing is, you know, you're just going to have more kind of that standby consumption, power consumption, right? And in a small power station, that's just something you got to note. You only got 288 watt hours to work with, right? So um, you're going to have a, just a, a little bit more of that, that self-drain. And then that's in combination with the fact that LFP batteries just they have a tendency to have higher self-discharge right so just sitting around it's going to drop slowly drop the percentage a little bit more than the old model with the nmc batteries right so this is nmc 
and then the new one is, is the LFP. And then the one thing you really got to note is if you plan to use these things in kind of colder temperatures, that's just going to be uh, accelerated. You know, the, the LFP batteries, they just, they have a tendency to really start to lose charge in cold temperatures. So this is kind of one of the big things I would say, you know, if you're planning on using this, these power stations, kind of, you know, backpacking, whatever, hiking in colder temperatures or out camping, whatever, you know, actually the, the old 300 will probably be better for you. On the flip side, the, the new one, the LFP battery, the 300 plus, is gonna be better in uh, hotter temperatures, right? So it kind of just depends on how you wanna use these things. And then, you know, on top of that, we got the new model does have the app, right? So if you have that thing connected, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth especially, you know, you're gonna have further power drain. All right, now just to kind of focus on this new, the new 300 plus here, just kind of do like a quick design analysis on this thing. Um, you know, so basically it looks like all of their, their newer models, right? The pro models and the plus models, um, again, it's just, it's just smaller, right? It's the exact kind of design philosophy. But, um, you know, the thing is that I do kind of like a little bit of details here. I actually do kind of prefer that we don't get a cover for the car socket. Now, I know this is like personal preference. A lot of people, they want those covers. But I think just, you know, when you're plugging stuff in and out of these things, it's just nice to not have to deal with that cover. And you don't have cover for all the other ports anyways, right? So it's, it's kind of, to me, it's just kind of silly. Now, we do get the light on the front, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but you know, actually this is an improvement, right? The, the old 300 model didn't have the light. And then actually on the, the Amazon homepage here for Jackery, there's a little teaser here. This is the newest model that's gonna be coming out here real soon. This is the 1000 plus. So this is, a, you know, I was just kind of looking at the specs here real quick, a quick overview, and they're very, very impressive. And in fact, this little guy goes with it. So um, yeah, be, be sure to check out that video. That video will be coming soon. So yeah, it's just a, kind of the quick overview of this new 300 plus model. I'm sure this is gonna quickly become one of Jackery's best sellers. Now, as, as I mentioned in the video, you know, but I don't think this thing is just far superior to the old 300 model. It's pros and cons, right? Uh, this thing, yes, it's not gonna hold its charge quite as well, right? You're, the old model, you're probably just gonna be able to get a little bit more power out of that thing. Um, especially as I mentioned in cold temperatures, but even just across the board, you know, LFP batteries, they do have some, some self discharge, right? And then there's the size issue, right? The, the old model is a little bit lighter and a little bit slimmer. So, you know, if you're, if you're really size constrained on there and just, you know, really want the most portable, smallest package, the old model again is probably going to be better. The old model, you can, you know, in theory, do a little bit more solar with it, right? But the old model has that power brick, the AC input power brick that could only do like 90 watts or something, right? So that's, that's really the biggest difference. Do you want to be able to charge this thing up quickly, easily, you know, from the wall? 300 watts in one hour. I think that's going to be a huge selling, selling uh, feature for this unit. Then, of course, nice little details like the flat top where you can stack stuff on top of it, the, the LED light. And with that LFP battery, you're going to have a safer battery and it's just going to, you're going to get a lot more charge cycles, right? You know, if something that you want to really heavily use day in and day out, you know, there's definitely an advantage to the, to the LFP battery. And especially if you're gonna be cycling it a lot in high temperatures, right? This is the kind of the LFP batteries just handle high temperatures better. You know, the NMC batteries, you can quickly degrade those batteries and you really can lose a lot of life cycles if you're gonna be cycling those things in high temperatures, right? So that's kind of, again, you know, LFP, yes, better for high temperatures. NMC, the old 300 model, better for colder temperatures. Right, so it is, it is kind of a pro and con thing. I think overall, I would probably recommend this one. I would probably say, go with this one. If you're just you know, a casual user, right? Go with it, unless you have that specific use case scenario that we talked about. I think this one is gonna be the better unit to get. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of found all this, uh, this, this overview. I tried to make it quick, you know, there's a lot to cover, right? And a lot to cover. So yeah, sorry if it went a little long, but yeah, hopefully just found it helpful, interesting, entertaining. And yeah, thanks for watching.